What is up today guys? Before we get into this real quick, I just want to give you guys a heads up. Friday, I'm going to upload my 300th video. It's going to be a Draw My Life video with a major announcement at the very end. So be on the lookout for that. I'm so super excited. The video turned out awesome. Um, so yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Let's get into the video. What is up today guys? Welcome back to another animation workshop video. Today we're just gonna get right back to it. I've put in a few uh, hours, a little bit of work since the last video. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep making some progress. I've got about, I've got about an hour, hour and a half that I can work on this today. So that's what we'll be doing today. Let's go ahead and see where we're at and we'll get into it. So I've been working on smoothing out some of the green um, animation. So this first scene here is about two seconds long. He just takes like a deep breath as the door's opening. So let's look at that real quick. It's not looking all too bad. I'll probably tweak it a little bit later on. Uh, and then the second scene here is probably where I'm going to be working for a little bit today. Um, he takes a step through. I realized what I wanted to is instead of having his right foot go all the way and then his left foot just kind of catch up and the right foot turn, I'll have the right foot go like 75% of the way where he's gonna be. And then I'll have the left foot go 100 and then the right foot go that last 25. So the right foot, instead of going, you know, right there, it might come right there or so. And then it'll do like a small step forward. So I'll probably adjust that a little bit. And then in this last shot here, they are still um, pretty stagnant. And then the orange guy does his flip coming through. And yeah, that's about where we're at so far. And this is flip, boom, there it is. Let's go ahead and work on this. Uh, I think what I will start out with is fixing the green guy's foot placement and uh, getting that to um, probably a more organic step, if you will. Uh, and then we'll just kind of see what see what happens. So let's get into it. Okay, so I can see that this is the full step right now. So if I want his foot to stop about right here, maybe. Yeah, somewhere around right here. Just take almost a full step. Okay, so we'll take the contact. We'll just simply slide it on back like so. And we'll slide all the other translations back. The hands, the cog, just slide them all back. And I'm trying to keep my voice down just a little bit because Bailey's sleeping in the room right next to me. So hopefully uh, you can still hear me. Oh, it, <laughs> whoopsies, okay. He makes contact, but then he starts to slide forward. So we want to take this, bring that forward and pretty much just keep the translations from moving forward. We'll add a little bit of ball to it since he's stepping forward. Increase the ball, add a little bit of toe in there is lifting his foot up. Okay, let's see how that plays. It's probably gonna be a little jagged, but just wanna make sure it feels right. Yeah, it feels right enough. Very, very jagged though, so we're gonna have to go through and fix that up. I'm seeing why it's being all jaggy, because we moved the translations back. Yep, here it is. See, he was all forward like and then we moved it back okay so if we just get rid of this just delete that okay that seems to be a little bit better now let's look at the hands because i'm sure they're probably in the same boat oh yeah i haven't gone through the hands and you can see how like rough all this is where we're just placing keys to get things where we want it to be but still pretty rough yeah let's do that one because that one <laughs> this one is uh quite messy take a look see so this area here, I have already smoothed out because that's the part where the door opens and he's just taking a deep breath and whew, kind of one of those things. This area I have not, and there's a ton more keys here. Now more keys doesn't mean that it's bad. More keys, uh, in my case right now anyway, just means, hey, it's not as clean as it could be. So let's work on that. So what I'll do is I'll just simply go through each one of these and smooth out that curve. So I'll start with Translate X. Um, this one doesn't look all too bad. What I typically do is uh, I'll just find a key, grab it, move it up and down so I can see up here. Um, I don't know why I pointed, you couldn't quite see that. But I can see on my character how these keys affect the part of the body. So I did that, now I can see that it moves the hand side to side, left to right from this perspective. So let's go ahead and see. Maybe I don't want to 
move it a little bit more to the right so I'll raise this up. And then this key here means it's a little bit more to the right. Okay, I'm gonna just play around with this a little bit. I'll grab this curve and kind of smooth it out some. Maybe this one can be moved back. So it's a nice little flow. Let's see how that looks. Overall, not bad. It does lock out and I'm pretty sure that's just because the translate Z that we did, but we'll adjust that here in a little bit. So we'll, we'll move on up and then it's gonna start coming back to the left. Overall, not bad. This one could be smoothed out. Just crank it that way. And I'm gonna call that one good for right now. Now translate Y looks like we have some issues here. Oh, and to shrink and like just to scale your graph down here, uh, like on a Mac anyway, I don't know what it would be on like an HP or whatever, but um, you would hold Option and Shift and then the right mouse button. And you can like do that to make uh, your key stand out a little bit more. So you move up and down, it'll do that. And if you move it left to right, it'll do that. Just a kind of a good way to zoom quick glance this looks like it could could be a little bit too sharp of a peak we'll take a look this one looks like it's gonna be probably all right but overall it all really depends on how it plays so let's find out i think i'm gonna look at this from the side i think it would help in this case it should be at a low point it's gonna start moving up and up and then it's gonna drop back down so what I'm gonna do is shrink this just a little bit, but then grab the curve and have it go up. Grab this one, shrink it, have the curve, maybe mellow out, maybe go back up a little bit. There we go, that looks kind of nice. Now we'll grab this guy, turn it, and then bring him up. Okay, now we can see we're getting a nice little, nice curve, it's not as like pointed. So let's see how that works that plays, because overall that's what really matters. Okay, so what I can see here is that we could go down a little bit more right in this general area, so I'll push this down. And that creates a new key down here. Okay, and maybe I don't want it that far down, so I'll pull it back up just a little bit. And it's all really just about making little adjustments to make your curves look better, because the more smooth they are, the better it's gonna play and just keeping an eye how it plays in your actual scene. Okay, so overall, that one's not terrible. I bet my biggest issue is gonna be with Translate Z here. Yeah, this one's gonna be pretty big mess. We can see this one's all about moving forward or moving back. So it starts off, so the first two frames, it moves back just a little bit, and then it's gonna start moving forward, and then it goes really forward, and I think that's gonna be where my issue is because that locks out. So I'm actually just gonna grab this and delete it. And maybe it goes forward a little too fast in there, so we'll get rid of this guy and just kind of let it slope on up. That could work. And then I'll go through and do the same thing with the rotations. It's probably not gonna be all too different and probably not too complicated because I haven't really messed around with that yet, but I'll adjust it so that the hand rotates and stuff as he's taking his few steps here. But I'm gonna spend a few minutes going through and just kind of smoothing some stuff out on the green guys. So let's get into it.
Okay, so just looking at the before and after of this, so uh, the before, full step, and then like a little pivot. After we did like an 80% step and then like a baby step. Which, uh, I don't know, I think it looks better. And then, you know, we smoothed out some curves. We did uh, some finger adjustments. Um, as you can see how this one, you know, the, the fingers just, they don't move. Whereas up here, we finally got a little little bit of finger action going on. Um, and yeah, it looks good in the shot camera, which is uh, the most important part. Next week, we're gonna work on this shot here probably be smoothing out the orange guy, maybe adding in a, another <sighs> breath to the green guy, but um, overall we're, we're making good progress and I cannot wait for this part to be done because this is the, no part of animation is like boring boring, but this is like the least fun part because once we get into the action, oh man, it's gonna be so, so awesome, but I gotta establish the timing here. I gotta establish where they're at first before I can get into the real fun stuff. But um, as a lot of you know, my green guy is pretty much like a green lantern. He can create things. And my orange guy is a skilled knife wielder. So um, I'm excited to see uh, see what we can do. I'm, I'm planning on my green guy being like a shield weapon. Bam, bam. Orange guy being like dodge, knife, knife. But yeah, I'm liking the progress where we're at. Um, so overall, that's it for this one, guys. Not a ton got done because I'm limited on time this week. But... You know, things are moving forward, and that's all I can ask for. Um, so, yeah, if you guys would please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.